So, Christmas came early, my friends, and uh, our good friends at Huion sent me this Huion Canvas 22 along with the key dial mini. And today, I want to show you, well, how this works. I've been working with this tablet for the past like seven days and uh, it's been a blast. So let's go to the unboxing. The tablet comes in this very big box and everything is included. You got the stand, you got of course your pen, battery, battery less pen and everything that you need. You get the little glove as well, a cleaning cloth, your user manual, everything it's included here and it's very well secured and very well packaged. Now the screen itself is a big screen. It's pretty much like a monitor, right? Like it's a huge, huge screen. So you will need an extra power supply. So it comes with the cables and everything that you need, but you do need to connect it to your PC and to a power source. So if uh, space or the like power source availability near you is a little bit tricky, you might want to consider other sizes as well. But this one, and you're going to see in just a second, is really, really good. Now, you do need to screw in or screw on the little like pad. It's a heavy tablet. Again, it's like a big screen. So it definitely needs to be screwed on. As you can see, it's a really big real estate for the screen tablet, like the space. So let's jump to see how it looks. Now, I know the first question I'm going to get asked is, does a size matter? Is it really a big difference from the other one that we have? If you remember, we reviewed this one right here. You can see it on the main camera and here on the tablet camera, which is the Huion 13, Canvas 13, 2.5K. So it uh, has like 2K resolution on the screen. And as you can see, the size difference is considerable like just the the active space of the new canvas 2022 is bigger than the whole tablet on the canvas 13. it does mean that now my desk space is a little bit more i wouldn't say clutter but it's definitely less space because this is now my main monitor but it works perfectly fine now i do have this wireless keyboard that allows me to just position it everywhere but we're going to be talking as well about this one right here which is the huion key dial mini which has like 16 or 17 keys that you can program to also change like for instance right now i actually have mine program and as you can see i can do all of my navigation perfectly fine here on the screen so this right here has an srgb 120 percent like color palette meaning that the colors and you probably can see this on the screen are going to be a little bit more or like true to the natural world than other like monitors or uh, screens, right? As for like comfortable, it's really damn comfortable. Like it's a really, really good way to, to really focus and really see what you're doing on your element. This is one of the questions that I was getting quite a bit on the other tablet, on the, on the Canvas 13, which is, do you find it difficult to visualize what's going on? And of course, in pretty much every software, you can just, um, you know, zoom in and zoom out and that should allow you to, to really see what's going on. But the thing is, it's it really is a game changer to see things in this such as uh, like this big screen. One thing this does not have is extra buttons. So as you can see, there's absolutely no buttons on the side of the screen. Normally other tablets, again, like the Huion 13, will have some shortcuts. So some people like to work while holding the tablet. So they'll hold the tablet with one hand and then use this as um what's the word, like the macros or, or shortcuts for some of the tools, this one does not. This is where, again, the key dial mini comes into play because you can program all of those keys to do whatever you want. Now, uh, I did do one change on my tablet, and that's the fact that I changed the tip. I'm not sure if you can see it there on the, on the tablet. I hope you can. But I changed the tip to a felt tip, which came with, again, the previous uh, Huion Canvas 13, and uh, it, it gives a nicer feel. The tablet itself has an anti-glare like screen protector. You can actually replace this. I did this with an older model that I had, a Canvas 16. Um, and um, and after it gets like after a couple of years, it does get a little bit scratched and sort of like difficult to see. But you can just like use an exacto knife, tear this off, get a new replacement, and just place it on top of the new thing. It's kind of like changing the, the screen on your cell phone. Now, in sculpting itself, I didn't see too much of a change. I'm, I'm very used to working with traditional tablets, so it, it really just, it, it doesn't feel that much. But let me show you where it really changes things. So the area where I realized, wow, this is totally, totally a game changer is painting. Because when I, when I first started doing 3D, I always use like one of those like old tablets, right? Like no screen, no nothing. So I get very used to that sort of like hand-eye coordination where I could draw on one side without actually seeing where I was drawing and it would do exactly what I wanted on the screen. 
But painting and, and drawing, it's, it's a little bit different, right? So for instance here, I'm inside of 3D code and one of the things that I love about having this huge screen is that I can totally see exactly what I'm doing, right? So I'm working on this little skull right here. Some of you might recognize them. This is the skull from Thyros, right? But we went through a little bit of, uh, of a hand-painted process here and uh, I'm just like adding all of these little details so yeah, this is a, again, it, it's one way to, to start playing or to start adding things. And the fact that I can totally see what I'm doing, that to me does make it like completely, completely worth it. Because I don't need, especially when drawing, for instance, like let's say we wanna do like some straight lines right here. So if I go and just like pick this color, the, the fact that I can just literally draw the line that I want, right? Like super straight line and I can see where my hand is going rather than having to, again, guesstimate where the motion is going to be is just so, so good. Co or pair that with the fact that it's a huge screen and I can really, really see what's going on. And this allows for very, very good precision when really like adding all of these details to our element. Now, another question that I get asked is how does this kind of tablets like work if you're trying to do other types of work? Like let's say we're not gonna be doing any drawing and you're just gonna be like modeling or, or doing anything. To me, this size right here is like really, really good. I'm not sure if I would go any higher, like maybe 24 inches. I know there's like a 24 inch version, but this one right here is really good. And it's relatively comfortable because I can literally be like leaning in my, in my desk and I'm just looking down and doing all the stuff that I need. Let me show you. So you might remember the uh, thing that we were doing here with the Warhammer uh, gun. And uh, yeah, as you can see, like I can totally, like very, very comfortably, I can totally and very comfortably work with this screen as if it was my monitor. I'm actually going to be probably removing this monitor that you have or you see right here because it's kind of confusing to have the same thing on the same like side. I'm just going to keep my off monitor, which is where, where I read you guys, where I read the chat and all of the, all of the information. And this is just going to be my main monitor. Everything's going to be happening here. Now, let's talk about some of the things that you do need to take into account when uh, like preparing this. First of all, very importantly, make sure to update your drivers. A very common issue I see with this tablets and any other tablets is that people don't update the drivers. Just go to Google and say, hey, Hoi on Canvas 2022 driver, and you're gonna get the information, you install it, and that should fix, I would say, 99% of the issues. Now, this one in particular, for the digital pen, because this is something that I get asked all the time, like how do you properly set up your tablet? Well, what are the shortcuts that you use or what kind of stuff do you change? First of all, I changed my, my pen right here so that this button right here, the bottom button is the mouse middle button and the upper button is the mouse right button. So pretty much you have your full mouse here with your element. Technically, and I've seen some people do this, you could potentially like work here within Maya. Like right now, like if I, if I do all of the, you know, like the normal movements that we do here instead of Maya, rotation, panning, all that stuff. You can totally work here inside of Maya with just the tablet. I don't find myself doing that as much because I'm not as used to working with the, the pen. However, when I'm doing certain things like uh, vertex painting or where I'm doing things like weight painting, it's a very good idea to use a tablet to have a little bit more control. So that's the first thing that I do here with the mouse right buttons. Now, there is a little bug, and I'm not sure if it's a Windows bug or if it's a Huion bug. I think it's a Windows bug, or it might be even a Photoshop bug, but there are certain softwares that if you have both of the softwares open at the same time, the, the tablet, and I, this has happened with all of my tablets, will sort of like mess up. It will only have sensitivity on one of the elements and not on the other. And this specifically happens to me with Photoshop. When I open Photoshop and ZBrush, for instance, ZBrush loses the sensitivity, right? Like if I go right now back to, to ZBrush and I just try to, to very, very like lightly add some, you know, clay build up, you can see that the sensitivity is working perfectly fine. This tablet, by the way, has 8,000 levels of sensitivity, like most of the other ones out there. So you're gonna have full control. So it works perfectly fine, right? Same in 3D code right now. If I jump into 3D code and uh, I try to paint here, you're gonna see that they also have the, the ability to, to play with sensitivity and like do thinner, thinner, like strokes on the whole thing. So, it works, but if I open Photoshop, and I don't want to do it right now because then I'm going to have to sort of like restart everything. But if I open Photoshop, 
Photoshop will now adopt the sensitivity because it changes from Windows Ink to like Pentav or something like that. And uh, it, it's just like a driver issue. I hope there's a fix someday soon. I'm not sure again if it's Huion, if it's Windows or if it's Photoshop that needs to do the fixing, but just keep this in mind. That's why I personally, when I'm doing like uh, explanations or I'm doing like portfolio reviews, which by the way, it's gonna be pretty soon. The submissions are open now on the Discord if you wanna check them out. When I'm doing that, I use Krita because Krita does not do that bug. It just like allows me to very, very quickly again draw with sensitivity, pen size, all of that stuff. So amazing, amazing. It just it just works, right? So just keep that in mind. If you're gonna be opening or using too many softwares at the same time, there might be a little bit of conflict between the between the drivers. Now, going back here to the elements, once you install your key dial mini, this is Bluetooth, by the way, so that's amazing because, again, you can have it anywhere you want. I've seen people sort of, like, position it here and, and sort of, like, hold on to it or add, like, a little hook that just, like, snaps on the top. I've been having it here on the side. And what I did here, again, down here on the drivers, you can go to the key dial mini, and these are all of the keys that you can change. Now, one amazing thing, and this is not something that I show often, and the reason why I don't show it often is because I feel like it can confuse some people, especially people who are just starting their 3D journey, but you can go here to the upper side and change what each software will like see when this thing is enabled. So for instance, if I go here to ZBrush, you're gonna see that they have Shift, Control, Alt, Space, right? Shift again over here, another Alt, D, B for brushes, right? D for subdivisions, Z, so that I can do a Control-C if I need to, right? Control-C. So all of this is right here. And on the dial is the brush size. So if I go to ZBrush, and I twist the dial, you can see how the how the dial on the element like changes. I find that to be, you know, it's, it's a nice little convenient thing to have every now and then, but most of the time, especially here in Seabrush, I just press a space bar, which is now this button right here on my key dial mini. I press a space bar and that allows me to, again, modify how things work. If I then switch to 3D code, you're gonna see that, for instance, here it's the V key, which is the, the color picker tool, so that I can quickly select the color that I want and start blending. My space is now on this one right here and all over here. Now, a fun thing about the, the, the key dial mini is that it actually includes some stickers. So if you wanna like add some stuff to your own like elements so that you don't forget what button does, what specific action each button does, well, you have this one's right here. I have not customized mine yet, uh, but it's there. It also comes with this a cable, which is the, the charging cable, right? It's a USB to USB-C cable right there. And I don't use this one. And the reason why I don't use this one is because I have another USB-C cable that I use with a lot of my things, like my keyboard, that guy right there, the... the um, Oculus Quest 3, like all of my like peripherals are connected with that specific cable. So I just like switch them whenever I need to. You can change, of course, the brightness length right here. So if you want to have a lot of light or a lot of light, of course, if you leave this low, the battery should last a little bit longer. I've heard, I have not like run out of battery yet, but I've heard that this one can last up to like three weeks. It's really not a like energy dependent element. So yeah, amazing little addition. Now, if you have a like a Bluetooth keyboard like this one or, or similar to this one that can occupy a similar space, then you're probably going to be fine. But if your space is a little bit cluttered, this option right here, the key dial mini, I think it's an excellent, excellent one. So that's pretty much it, my friends. That's the review. Now, my impressions after a couple of weeks, or not weeks, like days, seven days that I've been using this, it's amazing. I've been a huge fan of this brand, and believe me, it's not just because they send me the stuff. You guys know that I'm always super honest, and I always try to only like showcase things that I truly believe in. So I really like the brand. The price is really good. This one, I believe right now, might be in, in an offer due to Black Friday, so I'm gonna link, leave the link down here if you wanna check it out, this one or any of the other ones. But the build is really, really good. Um, one more thing that I wanted to show you, and good thing I didn't forget about this, the, the tilt, right? So back here, here, there's a little lever that you literally pull the lever out and when you pull this out this thing can go all the way down right pretty much flat against the surface or it can go to a very very like flat effect right here i personally don't like it to be as flat i feel like i also get a little bit of uh, like reflected light here because of my reflector uh, so I prefer to keep it sort of like at a, I would say, what, 60 degree angle, but it has a lot of range of motions. In the older versions, again, in like the Huion uh, 13, the little stand that it came with, it only had like three or four different positions. So I do find this to be quite, um, quite useful because you can customize this again to the specific inclination that you want. 
and once again like i've seen people who work really really close to their like tablets so since the stand is pretty much stuck to the to the tablet you can just move this and position this wherever you want this is where i would probably for instance place my keyboard behind the element so that this hand would be all the way up here like pressing the buttons and then i'll just focus on doing this thing right here and this is again where where the little uh, like key dial mini is really good because I can just focus on painting and all of my shortcuts are gonna be at the like uh, reach of my hand very, very quickly. So that's it, my friends. If you have questions about the tablet, please, please let me know down here. If you wanna know anything specific about how it works, how to set it up, if there's any other specific thing that you do other than the shortcuts that I already showed you, let me know and I'll be happy to, um, to answer those questions. Again, I've only been using this particular model for the past like seven days, but I've been using Huion for years now. So hopefully this gives you an informed decision. And as I always say, if you're gonna be pursuing this career, you will need a tablet, right? Like it's, it's mandatory again to do sculpting, to do painting, to do all of this kinds of things. It's very, very important that you do take that into account. So make sure to get the one that best fits your particular scenario, right? Depending on if you have a lot of space, if you're gonna be moving a lot or not, this one in particular is never gonna be leaving my, my desktop. Like I cannot just like easily move this around. That's why I'm gonna use the, the uh, Canvas 13 for. So depending on if you're gonna be on the move a lot, are you gonna be doing a lot of like drawing or painting where you really need to see where things are going? Or do you want things to be a little bit more practical? Well, hopefully you can find one option for that specific purpose that you need. And um, that's it, my friends. Again, remember, we're going to have portfolio review this Friday. So, well, not this Friday, Friday at the end of the month. But the submissions are now open on the Discord channel. So if you're watching this on the first few hours or days that this has been released, this video, then make sure to check that out. And um, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Don't forget, always learning, always improving. And I'll see you back on the next one.